So I wanted a new mouse to replace my very old Sumvision two button 3D optical mouse. So I went on eBay and I purchased this. Let's take a look and see how good it is. Hi everyone and welcome to another Ixis on Tech IoT. I am Ixis. On today's episode, we're gonna be having a look at this Tech Vision RGB wired gaming mouse. Now I'm not really into gaming, but um, Amazon had sent me a couple of emails because I looked on their website at some mice and uh, I had a look on their website and I came across this little uh, beauty, should we say? I don't even call it beauty, but uh, it's white. I like uh, a white mouse to replace the one I've already got. And this is it. Ooh. So it's got two buttons. It's got a DPI button, although it does say CPI on it. Uh, scroll wheel, and it's got a back and a forward button on the side. A nice braided cable. I don't know how long it is yet because I haven't really opened it. And these are the, this is the information that's on the box, which is a game start. Uh, not much more except it's got a picture of a little wild cat on there. So let's plug it in and I'll show you all the beautiful colours. Stats wise, it's... Uh, uh, I'm checking the stats on the film by the way. It's uh, version tech wired RGB gaming mouse, ergonomic USB optical mice... Mouse? Mice? With seven colour RGB. <laughs> So it says in one part it's got a DPI of 800, uh, 1200, 1600 or 2400 DPI. Now I did try it earlier on when I was downstairs plugged into my Android Asus Transformer tablet and when I was pushing the, the DPI button it did make a difference of the mouse speed going across the Android screen. So I'm going to try it out on my PC now. So let's unravel this. I'll unplug my very old Sunvision uh, mouse. Let's check the box over there. Oh, that's quite long. Now I know on um, my body that from there to there is one meter. So that is more than a meter. I'd say maybe a meter and a half. Mm, yeah, we'll give it a meter and a half length. Right, uh, lucky I've got this plugged into USB anyway. So goodbye, Sunvision mouse. See you again, maybe on the laptop downstairs when I'm editing. So let's plug this baby in. If I can get it, there we go. Ooh, what do you think everybody? Can you see it? Nice green. I like the blue. Ooh, near darkness. So as you can see, it's got some lovely colors in it actually. So you can see it's, it's breathing here. Now I did read, if you push and hold the DPI and the back button, uh, there you go. You can turn off all the colors completely and then turn it back on. Push the same colors again. So I'm not seeing any like red uh, light on the bottom for the, the sensor. So I'm guessing it's going to be a laser sensor on here. The clicks do, oh wow, that's a quick DPI. I don't know if you can hear those. It's got a scroll. Quite quiet. So let's try this DPI out then. Whoa, this is so fast. So I don't know what DPI it's on, but it's, yeah, it feels okay. Push the button once. Oh, wow, that does seem quicker. Push it again. Ah, there we go, nice and slow. Push it again. A bit quicker. Push it again. Oh yeah. And again, the fastest. Oh yes, definitely tell the difference in DPI. Definitely. So what do I think of this mouse? Well, I haven't used it properly yet. I do really like the colors in this mouse. It does feel quite, quite weighty. I can't say the exact weight of it because I haven't got any weighing skills. <laughs> but uh, the cable's nice, nice braided cables, nice and gray. Uh, what else can I say about this thing? Well, it's got a wheel, it's got buttons, and it clicks. It feels nice in the hand, but buttons do feel nice and long. They're not sharp, there's no sharp edges on this at all. So would I recommend it? Well, yeah, for a, a normal mouse, why not? You know, it does what mouse things are supposed to do, I guess. How much was this mouse? Well, I bought it off eBay in the end, and it only cost me just over £10, uh, £10 UK sterling. Um, now I was looking on Amazon of this mouse 
Um, it was about eight pounds odd, but then when you took into account postage and packaging, that was like five pounds, I think it was near enough. I thought, oh, fine. It took it over, to, over, to, over 12 pounds. So I went on eBay, had a look, and lo and behold, this was 10 pounds and 9p plus 3 p and p So we ordered this at 3.05 p.m. on Friday, the 26th of April, 2019. Expected delivery date was um, 30th of April to the 1st of May. So I was sat uh, watching TV this afternoon. All of a sudden there was a ding dong on the doorbell and uh, it was a delivery. I was like, well, I'm not expecting anything. Nothing this quick. My mouse isn't supposed to come until Tuesday, Wednesday of next week, the 30th, 1st of May. And it was packed in Amazon packaging. I was like, I haven't ordered anything off Amazon. So it opens it up and lo and behold, it was this thing. I was like, oh my God, that's amazing. So I put it on Facebook. I was like, how can I order something from eBay yet it come in Amazon packaging? Well, some people on eBay, they do actually sell on Amazon Marketplace as well. So that's where it came in Amazon packaging and it come in just less, well, just over 24 hours. Ordered it at uh, 3 or 5 p.m. It got delivered about half past four on Saturday afternoon. I was well impressed with that. I was absolutely gobsmacked. So big thumbs up to the seller of this mouse. I will leave links in the video description below uh, where you can purchase this mouse on uh, Amazon and on eBay. If you like this video, then please give us a thumbs up. If you want to give us a thumbs down, then please explain in the comments below why you're not so keen on this video. Uh, please subscribe as I'm a new channel. I haven't got that many subscribers at the moment. I'd like to make more videos of technology for you guys and girls out there. So the more subscribers and the more watches I get of my videos, then the more technology I can buy and review for you. So that's it for today on IoT, Ixis on Tech. I am Ixis and thank you for watching. Goodbye.